Well, the House just voted. There was a motion to vacate, as we talked about, by Marjorie Teller Green. Eleven Republicans, including her, uh, voted for the motion. It was defeated. People will say they needed Democrats to save the Speaker. Well, they needed Democrats to throw out the last Speaker, Kevin McCarthy. Now, 11 of the Republicans who voted against it, I don't have the whole list. Representative Barry Moore, Representative Warren Davidson, Representative Thomas Macy, Massey, Representative Margie Teller Green, Representative Biggs, Representative Crane, Representative Gosar, that's three from Arizona, Representative Mooney from West Virginia, and Representative Chip Roy from Texas. Eleven of them. That means the overwhelming majority of Freedom Caucus members, of conservatives, constitutionalists in the House said no. These 11 said yes. And I explained my opposition to this at some length, two nights in a row now. You cannot have one member of the House throw the whole damn institution into turmoil. The framers would have rejected that 100%. What's being done here is based on rules, rules that they imposed on Kevin McCarthy. They blackmailed him. He agreed to the rule. It is a bonehead rule. Boneheaded rule that one member can cause such chaos and anarchy. Chaos and anarchy are not what constitutional conservatism are about. That's what the left is about. That's what the left's about. So, uh, I'm not aware of any form of representative government, of constitutional government, of conservative viewpoints, belief systems, that thinks one House member out of 535 should have this kind of power. So these 11, as far as I'm concerned, are not promoting conservatism. They're not promoting anything except anarchy. It's just the way it goes. And they will accomplish nothing, and they have accomplished nothing. But I want to move on. There was a hearing today, and more and more is coming to light. More and more is coming to light about how the Biden administration is supporting Iran, supporting Hamas, supporting the terrorists, about how the Biden administration has a two-pronged propaganda campaign going on. On the one hand, they talk about how they support Israel, but on the other hand, they trash Israel, and and their actions demonstrate who they are. Bernie Sanders has demanded that Biden start cutting arms off from Israel, and that's exactly what he's doing. Lloyd Austin, the defense secretary, was at a hearing today, and I want you to listen to this, a couple of clips. Cut one, go. So we, we've been very clear, Senator, as you know, from the very beginning. First of all, that, why do these people always say they're very clear when they're not? As we've said, we've been very clear. First of all, they were withholding ammunition and munitions from Israel for at least two weeks now. We didn't know that. And they're withholding these precision weapons, exactly the kind of weapons you need, exactly the kind of weapons you need, If you're going to, you know, be able to target the terrorists without killing civilians, they're withholding those. Which tells me that Israel's going in, they have to go in, regardless of what Biden and Blinken want. Biden and Blinken want Israel to commit suicide, just as they're pushing the United States to commit suicide. We're not going to do that. They're not going to do that. But go ahead, let's start from the top. Cut one, go. So we, we've been very clear, Senator, as you know, from the very beginning that um, that Israel shouldn't launch a, a major attack in Arafa without accounting for uh, and protecting the civilians that are in that battle space. They have provided plan after plan after plan to the United States. Israel is a sovereign country. They're an ally. That's why we are supposed to be helping them and supporting them. It's an ally that's fighting our enemy, Iran, and the terrorists 
who are secreting themselves into our country, who attacked us on 9-11 and many, many other occasions. Israel's the point of the spear for us. This tiny little country. And so, well, we're not happy with the plan that they gave us and so forth and so on. They're funding Iran. They funded October 7th. Iran has been able to rebuild its military, as well as Hamas and Hezbollah and the Houthis that are shooting at our ships. And this clown is concerned about what Israel might do with weaponry. When if they had left Israel alone, this war would be over already. It'd be done. And the hostages, God willing, would be back. Those who have been murdered, it would be over. But this is what Biden does, decade after decade. Go ahead. Uh, and, and again, as we have uh, assessed the situation, uh, we paused one shipment of high, high uh, uh, payload uh, munitions. Um, and uh, and now, again, keep something in mind. This is a shipment of high payload emissions, uh, munitions, rather, that Israel already paid for. This is even before the vote on new armaments. So Israel's been waiting there for the shipments that it already paid for. That Congress already authorized. And Biden didn't tell the United States Congress. And in fact, they didn't even tell Israel. They just stopped it. Go ahead. I think we've also been very clear about uh, the steps that we'd like to see uh, uh, Israel take to, to account for and take care of those civilians before uh, major combat. What do you mean to account for and take care of the civilians? There are more 18-wheelers going into Gaza loaded loaded with food and medicine and water and so forth than ever before. Ever before. 87% of those people who they're feeding and medicating Voted for Hamas. The vast majority of what's being brought into the Gaza Strip is being stolen by Hamas, handed out to the Hamas terrorists, and what's left is being sold to the Gazans with a big tax placed on it. Everybody knows this. And yet they still keep going on with the Hamas casualty numbers, and the fact that they're not doing enough to get aid into Gaza. These are lies. These are blood libels. It's helping to spread the anti-Semitism in every capital on the face of the earth through our colleges and universities. The propaganda that this administration is using, the bald-faced lies of this administration, their party, and their media, is painting Israel as the aggressor as the genocidal oppressor. And this is intentional. Biden and Blinken are leading a a diabolical, evil campaign against the government of Israel. They are trying to force a coup. They're trying to flip five members of the Likud party to take out Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. They are obsessed. They are focused on this because their, their great paradisiacal plan in the Middle East is to strengthen Iran. Iran with nuclear weapons. Israel's the provocateur because Israel's militarily too powerful. If it would only give up 30% of its country, its, its ancestral lands, Judea and Samaria, to the peaceful Palestinians who vote for Hamas. If they would only... Listen to Biden and Blinken. And so they're holding up weapons. So Israel, they believe, can't defeat Hamas. They've told Israel not to attack Hezbollah. They told Israel when it was responding to the missiles, 300 or so fired in Israel. My family and I were there. Do not respond in any significant way. We will not support you. And now there are reports, AP, Reuters, all over the place, that the day is coming, it could be tomorrow, 
where the United States is going to make a determination on whether or not Israel committed war crimes. Working hand-in-hand with the International Criminal Court, filled with radical left-wing Europeans, anti-Semites, anti-Americans, I might add. (laughs) They don't have any jurisdiction over Israel, any jurisdiction over the United States. And Biden is supporting it. That's why they're timing this report the way that they are. Just think about how sinister this bastard is. And his media. And his party. Let's go to cut two. Shelley Moore Capito of West Virginia. Cut two. Go. What is the status of withholding our weaponry that we voted to send to Israel? Are we doing that? Why are we doing that? Again, you know, our our commitment to uh, Israel is ironclad. Uh, How is the commitment ironclad when you're withholding weapons? Why do they lie like this? Because they have a media that lie for them. A media that hate America, that hate conservatives, MAGA, Republicans, unless, of course, they're Benedict Arnold's, then they love them and promote them. And a media that hate Israel, that is filled with anti-Semites and self-hating Jews. Go ahead. Uh... You know, as I, I said earlier, uh, since uh, October 7th, we have flowed in billions of dollars right. worth, of, uh, worth of security assistance. She's not uh, asking you about that. So this is where they start, uh, you know, slipping and sliding. Go ahead. And uh, as you just mentioned, you just passed the largest right. supplemental uh, in, in, in history for, that's focused on, on Israel. Uh, and we're going to continue Actually, to Actually, it's with- focused on Ukraine. There's far more money going to Ukraine, but that's okay. Go ahead. To, uh, to support Israel. And I uh, might add that this Secretary of Defense, the Secretary of State, and this president have flowed more money into Iran than Ukraine, Taiwan, and Israel combined. You got that? They take no responsibility for the, for the war that they unleashed in the Middle East, for the, for the deaths of those Israelis. Go ahead. Are those are reports false, then, that I'm reading? No, we are currently reviewing some near-term security assistance shipments uh, in the context of the unfolding events uh, in, in Rafa. So, so we are withholding uh, our shipments of weapons predicated on the uh, strategy that Israel's employing and in going into Rafa. Is that the bottom line here? We, we've not, uh, again, we're, we're assessing. Uh, we, we, we have not made uh, any final decisions. All right, shut up, you a-hole. 